اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میئرمنٹ مینس ہاؤ ٹو ویلیو اینی ٹرانزیکشن واٹ ایور بزنس از پرفارمنگ وی وانٹ ٹو ویلیو اٹ وی ہیو ٹو ویلیو ان مونیٹری ٹرمس دیر آر فور میئرمنٹس بیسس ون از ہسٹوریکل کاسٹ and that is usual and that is the most important one which we are using currently all over the world historical means that the day the transaction incurred and the money or commitment you made on that particular day the rate should be on that date rate historical rate but then let's say you are using this light so how much units you have used today and what is the cost of those units of today if you want to prepare your accounts on daily basis you have to make use of that let's let me give you another example you bought a car and you made a bargain purchase of let's say 20 lakh rupees but it was a nice car a friend meet you with you and says hey, you got a very good car can you sell it to me for 22 lakh so you might you cannot say that this car is now 22 lakh rupees because somebody offer me 22 lakh no it's costing you 20 lakh so you need to record it at 20 lakh historical cost current cost realizable cost and present value you know these are the third one is ye current cost means you might buy it an assets let's say 2 years ago but due to inflation the cost of 100000 may be again 120000 now so sometime we do so that we uplift the cost and that is the current cost in fact we need to prepare accounts under historical cost accounts but there was a time when current cost accounts are being prepared in uk but they were rejected because historical cost accounts now under in the, under the international financial reporting standards they allowed to some extent that you can use current cost accounts also not all over but in certain cases for example you got a land and building so they split land and building so building is depreciated but so for land is concerned it appreciated so they said appreciate the land value and decrease the building value as is so this is what called current cost that you uplift your assets value also realizable value means you sometime you want to uh, you have is the sale sale value basically realizable means sales value now uh, while we are talking about the sales value let's say if you are selling something on for 10000 rupees but you are incurring a cost of let's say 1000 rupees so the net realizable value is 9000 so you need to measure at 9000 present value this is again a concept that uh, what we are going to receive in future we want to see what is its current value current value mean keeping in mind that future the money today is worth more than the money tomorrow so what you are getting tomorrow is going to worth less than what you have so what we are trying we are working back we call it is basically we call it in accounting use value value in use and what we do normally what we expect in future we discount it and bring it to the present value so in certain cases we use this and we work out the present values also so we bring the incoming inflows into present value accounting policies and specific principle basis convention rules and practices now we must use these accounting policies or specific principle basis or conventions rules and practices in recording the assets valuation for example as i said we have number of method of depreciating the asset so which method we should follow again is can be a straight line method or it can be reducing values method or it can be unit of cost unit of output method there are number of methods so which method we should follow 
we must make sure we we should follow the same method year to year now management must develop policies and provide the most useful information to the users of entity financial statement you need to declare where you have a different methods of doing something which method you opt you should declare in the notes to the accounts and normally it's important that you should make it very clear that this is the methods we are following valuation of the stock or valuation of the uh, uh, non current assets and so on we should mention clearly in the notes to the account now accrual as i earlier explained an accrual is the portion of given resources or expense item that is recorded in a particular time span allocations are apportionment of cost to different departments or activities within the company sometimes we want to see the performance of different uh, departments so what we do common cost we going to share we are to allocate it we need to use some basis how to allocate it in case uh, in in a university we have been running so many courses so what we do normally that how much each course cost us people says we got number of student but the question is how much we cost to run that program to then run that course so we need to allocate not only the direct cost but the indirect cost should also be allocated and there should again be certain basis reasonable basis then depreciation methods of recording depreciation and amortization amortization is also depreciation is used basically for tangible assets tangible assets means like uh, lot and machinery then building uh, vehicles office equipment etc but amortization is for intangible assets intangible assets are like goodwill like brand names like licenses they also be with time reduces now the depreciation method uh again is it's a bit difficult job for example uh if you got a aeroplane let's say such a huge machine aeroplane how to depreciate it which method we should use there is a problem so what we do normally we have three parts of that aeroplane one is the body one is the interior and one is the engine for body there can be a different rate for engine there can be a different rate and so for uh, in, inside uh, interior is it can be a different rate then how to value the company buys are injected in numbers that is again unfortunate thing then when we value the business we add some buyness buyness it seems reasonable that your financial intelligence should include an understanding and how these numbers are calculated one should have some inside knowledge too thank you very much